Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your man, Chris Thorns, and as always, I got some extra, extra news for you. So, hey, let's get right into it. Hey, what's up, everybody? As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, who are watching my content, and as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about this lady right here, and this lady name is uh, Melissa Barnes, okay? Uh, Melissa Barnes has been charged with child abuse and uh, child neglect. And looking at her picture right there, guess how old she is? She's nothing but 22. But looking at that picture right there, it looks like this woman has had it rough or she's growing up rough looking like that at 22, you know. So, wow. You know, I was 44. Somebody told me uh, yesterday, like, you know, I wouldn't thank you 44. So, I take that as a compliment, I guess, you know. But... Uh, 22 years old, looking rough like that, but this this woman have been through some stuff, okay? But um, so let's get into it uh, as to what has uh, happened here, and let me switch some things around. Uh, there is no video clip on this one. Um, it's just going to be a straight read. So let's put this right over here. So y'all can see this right here. And y'all hear my dog barking. Excuse that. He's outside. I guess he out there seeing another dog or something just going nuts. If you that's like, that's if you hear him now. <laughs> All right. So there she is. Uh she has been arrested. And I'm gonna get into what she has done. And what this woman has done is she's been accused of trying to feed her baby bleach out of a bottle. Bleach out of a bottle. That's what this woman did. Feed her baby bleach, bleach out of a bottle. These people are insane. I, 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 I just not know what else to say. These people are insane. This story is coming out of Tampa. And it says a West Central Florida woman is accused of trying to feed a 13-month-old daughter bleach from a bottle, authorities said. Melissa Elaine Barnes, 32, of Tampa, was arrested Monday in Highlands County on an out-of-county warrant. According to Highland County Sheriff's Office booking records, she is facing charges of child abuse, child neglect, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office said in a news release, which you're looking at right now, the news release on my screen. Barnes arrest stems from an incident that occurred on January the 2nd, 2024, which was earlier this year. And it goes on to say that on that date, a relative of Barnes contacted authorities and said that the woman was living in an unpowered shed with her baby, uh, WTVT reported. According to the sheriff's office, the relative removed the child from a cold, from the cold clutter and her sanitary conditions and attempted to feed her when the baby refused to drink the bottle. The relative examined it, it and discovered that it contained bleach. Barnes allegedly told the relative that she used bleach to rinse the bottle. Detectives with the uh, sheriff's office conducted an investigation and the child was removed from Barnes' care by the Department of Children and Families and placed with another relative, according to WFLA TV. Good. Uh, according to the sheriff, Roberts, the contents of the bottle were analyzed and the presence of chlorine based bleach was discovered. Based on investigation, the detectives obtained warrants for Barnes arrest on May 28. Um, she was taken into custody by the Highlands County Sheriff's Office on Monday and remains in custody in the county jail. The woman that you're looking at right now, this is what she's been accused of, and this is uh, what she did. Now, just to make this real quick, I, I just say this, you know, I just think that it's sad that uh, it's been known time after time again that women have places that they can take their children when they do not want to take care of them anymore. They actually have places that they, they can take them at. But instead of giving a child a chance at life, they rather either kill them or attempt to kill them. And I don't understand this at all, that you could be so miserable that you want to put out your misery on your child for a child who did not ask to be here, for a child that you laid down with, whoever you laid down with, and y'all procreated this child. It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand it. 
and maybe it's not meant for me to understand. But more, the more I do these stories, the more we are hearing ways that these women are trying to unalive their children. And it's getting worse that the men are doing it too now. They are finding ways to unalive their child. I believe I seen a story about a couple weeks ago, a man killed somebody because he didn't want to play child support or something like that. He killed somebody or he killed a child or something like that. I had to do some more research on that. But these worthless people are killing children for stupid ass reasons. And I promise you, I just don't get it. It just don't make any sense to me. It just, and a lot of stuff just leaves you speechless that you really just don't know what to say anymore at this point. At least I don't. I really don't. I don't know. But luckily, this child did not die. That's a happy ending to me to this story. But this woman right here, something's wrong with this woman. There's something wrong with all of them who try to uh, off their child. Something wrong with all of them. It ain't just her. Something wrong with all of them. And I promise you, they need to start, one, cutting off benefits for these people who get benefits that's not taking care of their children because they're using the benefits for themselves. I talked to somebody the other day. Uh, she said a woman came, talking about uh, they for to get evicted this day the third, but said, looked at her, had her nails done, her hair done, and all that, and was like, you know, okay, you can't afford to get your rent and, uh, get your rent paid, but you can afford to get your hair and nails done. That's been crazy to me or whatnot. And again, uh, we are getting in a jam, but you know what I'm saying? A lot of us got our priorities in the wrong spot. Okay, why would you get your hair and nails done instead of paying your rent? But then around here whining about you about to get put out. Well, what kind of sense does it make? All right. I even heard one story um a long time ago. Somebody I was dealing with something from Renner Center and they literally told me a lady had a phone and was renting a renting a phone in the refrigerator and had children said that the lady told them when they came to pick up the stuff, told them, now uh, now I can't let y'all take my phone, but you let them took the refrigerator full of food and you got children. I said, I asked her, I said, are you serious? They said, we're not lying. They said, we got a lot of them like that. If it come to food, they'll tell them to take the refrigerator. If it's a phone, they'll keep the damn phone. They will keep the damn phone. And I was like, wow, wow, that is insane. That is fucking insane that we are there crazy and we are there selfish. Okay? Come on, man, a phone. A phone, you go to any dollar store, pick up a temporary phone, man, until you get your priority straight. But you want them to take the free away where you got the food at to not only feed yourself, but to feed your children? Their phone was just that important? But again, Maybe I'm just the one who's an idiot. I don't know. But anyway, guys, tell me what y'all think about this. Leave your thoughts uh, in the comment section. Of the, hey, I'm Chris Thorns. I'm out. Catch y'all next time. Thank you for listening.